Late night, I've been on my grind, running all my time, about to lose my mind. I said, Hey, I, I could change your life. Give it one more night, give it one more try. Hey guys, it's Finn17, we're back into the video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get free elites in NBA Live Mobile Season 6. Um, this just came out today, and you know, I'm about to play it, you know, it looks pretty fun, um, and I'm going to show you guys how to get free elites, so before we do start, please make sure to leave a like on the video, follow my Instagram, and join my Discord, link will be in the description. We're about a thousand subscribers away from 11k, so if you guys could please subscribe, it really to try to get 100 likes on this video. Post notification shout out goes to this person on screen right there. Thank you for having your post notifications on. If you guys do want to post a notification shout out, make sure to be subscribed with your notice on and comments on the positive down below. And let's get straight into it. So um, there's a lot of ways to actually upgrade your team in this game. Uh, this is just the beginning start, you know, stages, but hopefully a lot of these will be available. So let's just get started with the easiest way to get free elites. And that is by actually playing season mode. Now, something that they kind of did, which is pretty cool, is that once you play season mode, um, you can actually earn tokens over here in sets. So as you can see, season exclusives, exchange championship rings earned from winning finals in season mode. So you can earn Steph Curry, it looks like KG. Oh, that's that's the showdown. But this is for uh, season mode. Uh, you can earn all the way up to an 85 overall Steph Curry in the beginning of stages of this game. And all you got to do is get that championship ring earned from getting seasons. So let's go over here to seasons and uh, I can actually show you guys over here. So it looks like right there for winning the championship and just playing season games. And I believe you can just honestly just auto the events, which is honestly the best thing that they could have done because i wish they had that in madden mobile where you could just auto you know everything and it would just play it for you they do have that in nba live mobile so make sure you know when you're bored you know when you're bored of playing the game and you know you want to get the steph curry just you can just leave it on auto and let the game play for you uh and just get all the way to the finals and win it and as you earn 15 of these championship tokens you can get yourself a steph curry uh, that's one way to get a pretty good uh overall lead. let me actually see his stats his stats have to be pretty good uh and pretty good stats right there as you guys can see uh going along with that by er, doing the same thing basically in showdown so it looks like you get showdown tokens and collectibles from playing showdown as well and you can use your multi-year lineup for that if you want to just you know take easy dubs because look at this god squad team that i barely played on last year uh you can just basically get tokens as you can see showdown tokens for winning um and over here you can go to over sets and you can get a Kevin Garnett here. So it looks like you need five of these showdown tokens. And obviously, since they're easier to get, you need a lot of them to get this 85 Kevin Garnett. You need 100 and that 83 KG to get that. And also, uh, for the last one here, we got Arena. Uh, you can do the same thing. It's basically uh, live head-to-head. -head. Uh, let me just see where it is. I completely forgot. It might be over here. Um, I have no idea where Arena is. It's somewhere here. Maybe PvP. Um... Yep, there it is. So, Arena right here. Uh, for doing Arena, you can also earn this Tracy McGrady, another great card that you can have. So, you can honestly have a point guard, I believe, power forward Kevin Garnett. Yep, and then uh, it's shooting guard Tracy McGrady, and you can get him also to 85 by getting 50 of those PvP tokens. Um, and also, moving on here, you can also trade gold and silvers up uh, by opening up packs, by completing events, and I'll show you which events you have to complete to get these. But you can trade up gold to get an 80 overall to 82 overall uh, elite player. And you have to trade in 575 pluses and a trade up token. And I'll show you guys how to get those in a second. Right here, you get trade gold trade tokens, which you, I, be, I believe you can just buy them from the store. I don't think they're that expensive. Um, I have no idea. Uh, they must be somewhere here. Uh, there, but there, there's got to be a way to get these gold trade up tokens. So make sure to do that whenever you can. You might actually just be able to get it from live today uh, somewhere. There it is. Okay. So you can get elite weekly trade. Okay. So there you go. You can just get an elite token from there. And over here, you can get a daily. You can get the gold one. So that's another way to get that. By playing these events, the game of the night, you get a 67 plus player, which has a great chance of being gold uh, and game of the night tokens. Um, so that's cool as well. If you go over to game of the night, I believe it's actually through achievements. Um, let me just check over here. It's not. All right. Uh, I might have to go all the way over here, go to objectives, and then go to this. Um, I'm not too sure where Game of the Night is. It might be like down here. Uh, so maybe Game of the Night is something that is coming because I don't see anything here except for the Game of the Night exchange which does give you a gold. So there you go. So as you get those game of the night tokens, you can get a 70 plus player. And again, those are going to be absolutely crucial for those trade and sets. Um, and the last thing basically is completing these 67 overall, uh, you know, position uh, packs right here. These were also in the game last year, basically the same formula. Uh, and that's really cool that they have that. 
And again, the last one would be, I guess, limited time events. They're going to have like programs and stuff coming out. So if you guys do on program videos on that, make sure to uh, let me know. But it looks like you can get, you know, a ton of good players here. And as more stuff is going to come out, you know, throughout the season, we're probably almost in Halloween. So hopefully we're going to have a Halloween promo and that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to be subscribed if you haven't already. Uh, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And peace.